Alright, and welcome to Dave's Cooking Show, and today we have got a super, super simple burger for you. So simple, doesn't really require any seasoning. Why? Your seasoning's in this. This is the French onion burger. What we're going to do to start this off, three quarter pound patties. These are freshly ground patties. They come out to about 80-20, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. I ground them myself out of a chuck roast. Where the hell is my spatula? If you press the burgers out thin, A, they'll retain that shape that you want. They won't ball up. You know, you go to that barbecue with your uncle and you know, the burgers are about that fucking thick because, you know, he didn't bother to put a divot or a rivet or something in them or in the attempt to keep them flat, he smashes the shit out of them. Well, there's a way to do it. One, put a dimple in the burger. Two, put them, make them pretty thin. And when they ball up, um, you will still retain that nice patty shape because there's so much surface area. Also increasing the surface area decreases cooking time by quite a bit. In fact, these about ready to flip. Okay. So these burgers, time to add the seasoning. This is where the seasoning for this here dish comes in. Um, literally a can of French's onion soup. That's why I didn't want to add any salt or pepper or onions or any of that crap. Give these about another minute on one side, then I'll give them one final flip, and we'll add our final ingredient, pull them off, and you'll be ready to enjoy. Like I said, this is a super simple recipe, absolutely easy, a perfect first-time recipe if you've never cooked before in your life, or your kid wants to kind of get into cooking. This is absolutely foolproof, absolutely easy. They don't got to worry about over-seasoning. Everything's already done for them. Um, so, yeah. If you're a complete and utter novice and your whole fucking culinary world comes from Hot Pockets and frozen pizza, half of YouTube, I'm looking at you, then this is a great way to start actually eating food that you cooked yourself. Okay, I think that's enough. And last but not least, we're gonna add some cheese, some Swiss cheese. This is pre-sliced Swiss cheese. You can find this in any groceries, dairy department. And because these are rather small burgers, we're just gonna go one slice, one slice, one slice, and done. And give that a little bit of time to melt up. And honestly, I'm not doing too much more. I'm not gonna um, put on any vegetables. It's just a little French onion burger. So really simple to do, really, really easy. Again, really fun. Perfect for a first time cook. Uh, perfect for a complete novice due to age or absolute inexperience. Anybody can make this fucking burger. And the magic of freshly ground beef, even if you're not a novice, I'd still recommend getting a meat slicer or a meat grinder. If you do happen to undercook the beef, it's just fucking fine. Why? It's, fre it's beef. It's freshly ground. It won't have the pathogens. If you buy, now if you do buy meat, if it's from the butcher's counter, it might be okay to go to medium, maybe medium rare, but um, I go to about medium. But um, if you grind it yourself, if you get that chub crap, scorch it, it, it. Don't buy that chub crap. Don't buy that crap that comes in those fucking plastic tubes. 
That stuff is garbage. It was ground fucking nine weeks ago, sent to the store a month ago, and then finally put out. So, always grind your own meat, or, or go up to the butcher's counter and get, the, get fresh hamburger from them. So let's give this a taste test. Like I said, really simple burger, nothing to it. This is it. This is the most important part. Mmm. 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 Do you want to elevate this to another level? Transfer the burgers to another pan. And then add the uh, soup in. Make yourself a little French dip burger. Mm. Really good. Super simple. So that's it. For this episode of Dave's Cooking Show. I will catch everyone next time.